Watch. Ripley's denies Kim Kardashian damaged Marilyn Monroe dress. For Chris Evans taking up the mantle of Buzz Lightyear meant honoring the character's original voice actor. It's a tough legacy to try and touch what Tim Allen did, Chris exclusively told E! News Daily Pop, so you have to honor that and use it as a blueprint, but still tree and find a way to add your own interpretation. The Marvel star was thrilled when he got the call from Disney and Pixar about bringing Buzz origin story to life in the movie Lightyear, which premieres June 17. But Chris revealed he was a bit hesitant about it at first. My team called and they said, okay, we have everybody. Usually, if everybody's on the call, it's either really good news or really bad news, he told. Daily Pop. They said, so, Pixar has a movie. They wanna pitch it. All they told us was Buzz Lightyear. I said, Tim Allen's Buzz Lightyear, but okay. Everything worked out for the best, as Chris wrote in an Instagram post after the film's announcement that he didn't stop smiling through the entire pitch. Buzz Lightyear is another iconic hero Chris has added to his long list of roles, including Captain America, who he played for almost 10 years in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But sometimes, the 41-year-old enjoys taking a walk on the dark side. Villain's a lot more fun, said Chris, who is set to be the antagonist in the upcoming Netflix movie The Gray Man. Journeying to infinity and beyond with Chris in Lightyear is co-star Kiki Palmer, who plays Izzy, the granddaughter of Uzo Aduba's Alicia Hawthorne. Recording her, Lanessa Booth, Kiki didn't meet much of the film's cast in person until its premiere. When it comes to the voice of the villainous Zerg, Kiki got James Brolin confused with someone else who's played a big, purple meanie. Oh my gosh. I've been saying Josh, she realized on Daily Pop, mistaking James for his son Josh Brolin, who played Thanos in the MCU. She called out her mistake, joking, somebody else said James, but first said, it's Josh, Miss Girl. Check out the full interview above. Lightyear premieres in theaters June 17th.